Hey everybody, it's Phil with Behringer. How you doing today? Welcome to Music Group Studios. Today I want to talk to you about X-Touch. Yes, it's a universal control surface with nine touch sensitive motorized faders, LCD scribble strips, and it's an Ethernet USB MIDI interface as well. And it's going to be great in the studio. It works live as well, but let's talk about the studio. Everybody's using DAWs, right? And you've got, you know, the whole thing about a mouse is that it can only control one thing at a time. You can move multiples together, but they all move in ratio, right? So they're not individuals. Here you have nine touch sensitive and motorized faders that you can actually control things like a, you know, with a real tactile sense, which is important, especially when doing uh, drums, backup vocals, horn sections, string sections. You want to be able to massage those tracks with faders. This is going to do it for you. One of the fun things about the X-Touch is that it supports Mackie and Huey control. So if you hook this up to Logic or Kickwalk or Performer or Pro Tools, it's going to work great. They all have those presets in them, so as soon as you plug it in and set that up, it's going to the transport control is going to work, your faders are going to work, the panning, the EQs, all those things are going to work right away. You have nine fully automated touch sensitive faders on the X-Touch. Now why is touch sensitive important? Because as soon as you touch the fader, the software will go to that track. So you don't have to go with the mouse click and then go to the fader. You go right to the fader and it's working with the track right away. So that's great that they're touch sensitive, right? The second thing that's cool is that they're motorized. And what that motorizing is also for automation, okay? So a lot of times in software you can do one of two things. You can draw automation, what's called drawing automation, by using a mouse and looking at the volume on the software program and clicking and moving the software to different points. That's one way of drawing automation. The second way is having a tactile sense with nine touch sensitive motorized faders and you can actually do what's called drawing software, uh, drawing automation as well. And you can actually move the faders and it will write the automation into the DAW right away. And then when you go to play it back, you'll see that the faders are responding to what you actually want it to do. It's super handy in the studio, super fast, and it's a great way to work. Now there's eight dynamic LCD scribble strips that are built right in up here at the top. You can see whatever parameter is going on. You can see the track names right away and you don't have to relabel them. You can, it will actually draw the track names right out of the software so it automatically pops up on the scribble strips which is handy. And then if you're not doing the track names, let's just say you're doing an EQ, okay? you will be able to see the different names of the bands of the EQ and the values that you're adding or cutting in that EQ for that band. That'll show up on the scribble strips. So it's dynamic in the sense that it's not just a track name. You know, for engineers, we're used to just having that one piece of tape that has the track name, kick, snare, hat, T1, T2, like that. But imagine having that and it automatically changes to whatever you're doing on the console. Super cool. You have an ethernet connector for real-time protocol, which is gonna be used for future updates. So you will be able to actually almost use this as a controller for say an X32 console, or as an additional pack of faders for the X32, because you can use eight of the faders on the X32 as it is in remote mode, and this would be able to add to that. Now you have eight rotary controls across the top of the X-Touch. Now that's gonna be really handy for adjusting things, simple things like pan and things of that nature. And then once you get into like some of the cool stuff you can control like EQs and things like that, you can use that to change values there as well. So it's not just a knob for one item. It can do a lot of different things depending on what page you're on in the DAW. Now, if you take a look at this, there's actually 92 dedicated buttons on the surface of the X-Touch. That's a lot of control. And they're also illuminated so that you can see what's going on and just be able to go, oh, I'm in this mode or I'm in that mode or this is what's happening here or this is my time code or I have it in beats so I can see it by beats instead of by time code. And you have your uh, transport control and your big jog wheel so that you can really dial in, which is great for moving through the track and also for editing to get to that just right spot to make an edit. So this is also a built-in 2x2 USB MIDI interface for connecting it to computers or other devices. So you connect the port up there and you're going to be able to use both the MIDI ports and the USB. So there are two dedicated foot switch connectors and a foot control input for remote control. Where is this going to be cool? 
stopping and starting if you want to do that by a foot switch, like I said, for the live or theater application. So if a drummer is going ahead and they have a foot, a momentary switch on the floor, they can hit that and start the track, right? And it's also going to be good in the studio for punches. You can punch in and punch out. Instead of doing it by hand, maybe you're doing automation at the same time, you can use the foot switch. You tap it once, you're punched in, you're recording the overdub. You punch it again, you're out, which is great for if you're recording by yourself. So the X-Touch also has a two-port powered multi-TT USB hub so that you can connect other controllers and cascade them if you want. Now the X-Touch does include the Behringer Planet Earth power supply, which means it's going to be auto switching from 100 volts to 240 volts. So if you're not taking it on the road, you'll be able to plug it in and it'll be able to auto sense the voltage and work great for you. So this is the X-Touch. For more information and media, please feel free to come visit us at Behringer.com. Thanks for joining us here at Music Group Studios.